Well, it's official. The 2012 Sounders FC training season has begun. Their first training session today in the Seahawks indoor facility here in Renton. Hi again, everyone. Tony Ventrella, SoundersFC.com. They split the first day into two separate sessions. The opening session Friday morning consisted mostly of rookies with a couple of veterans in the mix to create a 7v7 situation with three young goalkeepers. Sounders top draft pick Andrew Duran came into town before the snow Tuesday and immediately settled in with his new teammates today. First day getting back into it, um, but it was, it was difficult. I mean, at this level it's always going to be hard and I'm just trying to push myself and push the people around me and try and improve every day and make the team a better team. Duran played at Creighton in Omaha, Nebraska. His college team led the nation in defense, but he knows this is the pros and that increases the challenge. It was, it's fast. I mean, uh, I was out here last uh, summer and I was extremely humbled just by the, the speed of play. I was in the middle in 5v2 forever and I expected to be like that. So I'm just trying to improve myself and the guys around me and help the team. Also picked in the Super Draft was Bobby Yelly Sodade, who was in Seattle last fall with his college team playing the Huskies. From that visit, he knew he wanted to be a Sounder. I, I was excited. I mean, Seattle, what amazing fans, amazing city. I, I came up here in the fall. I played against the University of Washington in Portland in the Washington Classic over here, Husky Classic, I mean, and I loved it. Uh, I, when I came, I said, man, if I could play in Seattle next year, it would be a dream come true, and I can. I was so happy when Seattle picked me. I couldn't. I was smiling from ear to ear. The second session of the day featured 17 veterans and gave the media and now the fans their first look at goalkeeper Michael Sperning, the 6'5", 209-pounder from Austria who played pro soccer in Greece the last five years. The first day of practice is always to. to to come in, to, to feel your body, to, to make a good practice and to, to start the new season with a good feeling and uh, we did well this training today. Uh, first we made one, one hour uh, we had with, with Tommy and his, uh, his first exercise with me, I felt very comfortable with this and uh, also the in the game we, we saw that we, we are a good playing team so yeah, uh, let's start the season. It's good to, to feel the ball again, and it's, it's time to, to work. And speaking of work, it was the first opportunity back on the practice pitch for Steve Zakawani, who missed nine months with a broken leg. He did score a goal at the end of training today, but he admits his body hasn't quite caught up to his mental expectations yet, even though this was a good start. I don't think I could go through that session again tomorrow. I don't think so. I think tomorrow, you know, you've got to maybe release some of the pounding and just do some fitness work because you saw us a bit behind in that as well. But, um, hey, I've been out for nine months, and to be out there passing with the guys again, making runs for them, scoring a goal, I'll take that right now. I think it was good. I think today was a good day for Steve in terms of, I, I said, just go all out as for as long as you can, and then you can evaluate and we can evaluate where you are in your process. And, you know, so I think right now he's got a, he's got a good feel of how far he's come and uh, how far he's still away. And there's been no talk about team expectations for the 2012 Sounders yet. After all, it is only the first day of training. But Ziggy Schmidt was happy about his team's first day attitude and approach to practice. Uh, you can tell, you know, uh, you know, just by watching them today, the flow of the game was pretty good. And, uh, you know, I think guys, uh, you know, know what they are, are capable of accomplishing this year uh, as long as we go about our business well and, uh, you know, try and get what we didn't pick up last year. The Sounders will consider the conditions uh, down at Starfire and try to train there tomorrow, Saturday. They'll take Sunday off and do some more training at Starfire, weather permitting and, of course, ground conditions permitting early next week before heading off to uh, a warmer climate in Arizona. I'm Tony Ventrella at Sounders Training for SoundersFC.com.